Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to calculate pooled variance in Excel 2013. So first let's take a look at some data. In my top left hand side of my spreadsheet here in columns B and in column C I've got the results of uh, two experiments. One where a group of people have been treated with a drug and the other where uh, as a control group where they have not been treated treated with a drug and we want to compare the results uh, of this test. Now to see if there's a significant difference between the means of the control group and the drug group we would run a student t-test. Now let's assume that a variance is equal uh, for the, these two samples. The t-test formula that we would use is the one in the brown box in the top of right hand side of your screen here and you will notice that in the middle of that box there are two values uh, s squared uh, p, uh, to repeat it twice in here, and uh, this, this represents the pooled variance of the two samples. Because our variances are equal, all we do is we pool those variances in order to calculate our t statistic. Now in the pink box and underneath is my formula for calculating the pooled variance represented by s squared p. And in that formula you can see that there's, it looks like it's quite a mouthful, but let's take a closer look at it. It's made up of six elements. N1 is in twice here and in the denominator down here. N2 is also at the top and in underneath in the denominator. And we've also got the actual variance of sample 1 and the actual variance of sample 2. So they're the six pieces of information that we need in order to calculate pool variance. So N1 is the number of values in sample 1. N2 is the number of values in sample 2. Uh, S squared 1 is the variance of sample 1. And S squared 2 is the variance of sample 2. So once we know those values, we can plug them into our formula and calculate the pooled variance value, which we can use in our t-test. Now over on the left-hand side, underneath my data, I've set up my, uh, in this section here in column A, I've set up my values in order to build up uh, the pooled variance values that you see in the formula. So let's go ahead and start to fill in these values. N1 is the number of uh, values in uh, sample 1, which is going to be my control. So I'm just going to count these using the count function, equals C-O-U-N-T. I'm opening bracket and with my mouse I'm selecting all the data in column B, closing bracket, and you can see that I've got a count of 12. Now I know I can count this manually and just type in the number, but it's always good to just do um, uh, formulas wherever possible in Excel. So I'm doing the same with uh, the drug treated group. We can see we have 13 values in that group. So now we've got N1 and N2, and so they are four of our six values in our pooled variance formula. We also need the variance of sample 1 and the variance of sample 2. So again, that's fairly straightforward. Type in equals VAR and up pops a selection of variance formulas that you can use. These are samples that we are using here. So var.s is the one that we need. So double click on that. And again, just select all the values in the control. Drug in column B, uh, press uh, a closing bracket and enter. And I'm also going to calculate the variance in the same way. VAR.s, opening bracket for the drug treated group over here and press enter. Now we can see that the variance of sample 1 is 15.18 and the variance of sample 2 is 16.42. So there's a slight difference in the variances there and so we know then that our pool variance is going to be somewhere around these two values. So we'd expect it to be between, be between 15.18 and 16.42. Uh, now we have the elements we need to calculate the pool variance. So, so let's build up our formula. So the first thing we need is n1 minus 1. So that's just equal to the value for n1, which is 12 up here, and minus 1, press enter. Uh, similarly, our n2 minus 1 value is going to be our value of 13 for n2 minus 1. Again, I know these can be done very, very simply, but I'm using formulas here in case I change the number of uh, values in each drug. The next one then is the actual denominator in our formula over here on the right hand side, n1 plus n2 minus 2. So uh, that's just very straightforward. E type in equals n1 plus n2 and minus 2. And press enter. And that gives us a value of 23 for the denominator in our formula on the right hand side. Now let's go up and build the uh, numerator at the top. In cell B24 here, I've got the N1 minus 1, and I want to multiply that by the variance of sample 1. So I've calculated N1 minus 1 already, so there it is, it's 11, uh, multiplied by the value for the variance of sample 1, and press enter. Similarly, I do the same for uh, N2 minus 1, multiplied by the sample variance of, of the drug treated group, so this is equal to N2 minus 1, 
multiplied by the variance of sample 2 and press enter. Almost done. I've now got to add these two values together, so that's very straightforward. Equals uh, N1 minus 1 multiplied by the variance of sample 1 plus N2 minus 1 multiplied by the variance of sample 2 and press enter. So this is my um, numerator for the top half of the formula, and I can simply just want to divide that by my uh, N1 plus N2 minus 2 value. So my pool variance then is equal to my value here, 364.07, divided by N1 plus N2 minus 2, and press Enter. And we can see our pooled variance value here is a value of 15.829. So that then becomes the value that I insert in my t-test formula up here in the, in the brown box. I put that in twice uh, for, for the bottom half of my formula here. And in that way then I can calculate my t-statistic uh, to compare um, the means of the control group and the drug group uh, using the student t-test. So that's how you calculate pool variance in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.